Okay, here's the moment where I really talk a lot and really fast. In my 15 years of teaching orchestra in this state, I have graduated a great many seniors. I have been proud of each one of them. They have all been talented and hardworking individuals, and this year is no different. These 38 students are fantastic individuals, hardworking, disciplined, caring, quality leaders. This has been a very special year, made extra special by this very large group of seniors. I do truly wish that I had more time with them as they have each played a very special role in my life and have greatly impacted the growth and strength of this organization. Each student will be dearly missed by this family. They have made deep bonds with each other and our younger students. They have each been so valued in this program. This is a truly special group. I'm going to miss them greatly. It is with great pride that I have the distinct privilege to honor each of them tonight. Carson Baker. Carson is planning on going to UCO. He's unsure of what his current major is. I asked each of my students what they planned on doing, or what they saw themselves doing about 10 years from now. Carson said, same as now, looking in the mirror. His favorite orchestra memory is going to be accidentally punching a hole in the wall in the gym while running around with his orchestra friends. Carson is a very talented kiddo, very naturally talented. He has done great work in his section every year. He's a very focused player who has always shown his desire to do a good job when he is in the room making music with the orchestra. I'm very proud of you, Carson. Grace Barstow is planning on going to Oklahoma University, uh, majoring in meteorology. Uh, she sees herself in 10 years uh, working on research projects involving the environment or weather while traveling and learning about new places. She hopes to live near the coast and eventually study oceanography as well. Her favorite orchestra memory is even though everyone was exhausted, she enjoyed trying to stay up all night on New Year's Eve in London. That'll definitely be one of her favorite memories. Grace is a very talented cellist that we have been so lucky to have in our program. Things I'll remember most about her though is her heart for others, her ability to empathize, and her desire to reach out to those who need someone. She's a very hard worker and has made her section, her orchestra, and I very, very proud. Great work. Ashanti Beal plans on going to Drury University, Springfield, Missouri. She plans on majoring in music therapy. She sees herself in 10 years with a stable job as a certified music therapist working at a hospital or potentially a private practice. Her favorite orchestra memory was on the first night in London. Her friends and she were excited to eat food in the hotel because it looked really, really good. She says they sat down at their table and tried the mac and cheese at once. And then they all looked at each other at the same time and made a face of disgust. They had lost their appetite but for that food, but were still hungry. So they decided to go to the McDonald's that was across the street from their hotel. She says they ate chicken nuggets, even though the ketchup tasted strange. <laughs> it was the coolest McDonald's she says she's ever seen. Ashanti is a fantastic Allstate violinist and leader. Everyone loves being around her. This is such a special gift that she has. She is kind, caring, and humble. Ashanti is also very driven. I'm going to miss her a great deal. She brings a lot of heart, character, and energy to this orchestra. Ashanti, you're gonna do some great things in this world. I'm certainly gonna watch out for you. You're awesome. Eli Bigler plans on going to the University of Oklahoma, majoring in uh, film study, uh, film and media studies, and cello performance. Uh, he sees himself in 10 years hopefully working in either the film or music industries or both. His favorite orchestra memory is while he's had a lot of great orchestra moments, the trip that we took to Los Angeles in 2019 might be the most important one for him. 
He took part in a master class for the very first time, saw the LA Phil perform, visited the Chinese theater, and even went to Muscle Beach. All of that, he says, was wonderful, but the best part of LA was being with his friends in Disneyland, which gave him stories that he'll tell the rest of his life. Watching his good friends James Emerson and David Serrano accidentally spend $70 on tank tops was pretty fun too. Eli is a rock star, all-state cellist and leader. He has so many fine qualities from his caring of others to his dedicated service to our orchestra, to his awesome performance skill. He is a musician that draws others in. He is friendly with everyone. I think I'll remember most all the good questions he would ask me about the music after class. He always had great questions. Eli always wants to be the best he can for himself and the group as a whole. I'm gonna miss you, Eli. Raven Brooks plans on going to UCO and then Wichita State University, majoring in English creative writing. Uh, in 10 years, she wants to be a best-selling writer. I can't wait to read that book. Uh, favorite orchestra memory is going to be her very first day of orchestra her freshman year. I wonder what happened. Raven is such a kind-hearted viola player. She loves to play, and I have loved having her in the orchestra. I love every interaction I've had with her over the last three years. She's a very humble individual that has shown great promise on her instrument, but even more in her discipline. She'll go on to do great things for sure. Great work, Raven. Eldon Bruner, not sure where he's gonna to go to college yet, but his options are Baylor University, Boston, Case Western Reserve, Emory University, Fort New York, Northeastern, Emory University, Pepperdine. Oh my goodness, the list keeps going. He's gonna go somewhere great though, I know it. Uh, he's gonna major in either chemistry or biochemistry. In 10 years, hopefully, uh, he'll be in his second year of residency uh, since he would like to be an anesthesiologist. His favorite orchestra memory is gonna be when Jeff Grogan was helping us during a morning rehearsal. And he was heading to his seat when he slipped and fell off the conductor's podium in front of him. <laughs> Eldon is in, a small, is in a small group of North students that were among the very first I met when I joined the ENO family three years ago. Eldon made a major impression on me then. I remember thinking, what a great student. He was so accepting of the change that was taking place and willing to give me a shot. He is an amazing all-state violinist. He has been crazy active in the culture of not just our orchestra, but of Edmund North as a whole. He makes an impact on everyone he encounters. I'm thankful to have been his teacher these last three years, and I mean that. He did great work, Eldon. Chloe Buckner plans on going to the University of Arkansas majoring in architecture. In 10 years, she'll be designing buildings in a major city. Her favorite orchestra memory, she says it's hard to choose just one, but I would have to say going to IHOP after orchestra concerts and events. I feel like being together after big performances and winding down after all the preparation and anxiety really brought everybody together. Chloe has been an, our incredible concert master of the symphony orchestra and all state violinist. She has always done a fantastic job as leader. She has always handled herself very well in this role. It is a challenging job to be the leader of such a strong orchestra of your peers. I saw her manage the challenges so professionally. This is how I know that whatever Chloe sets her mind to, it'll be a success. She will go on to lead others incredibly well. I'm crazy proud of you, Chloe. Good work. Alexia Burroughs. With all these students that I have had the privilege of teaching, I collect so many memories and moments with each of them. It is actually a challenge to recollect some fun ones for each senior, but not with Lexi. I'm going to remember our trip to London. During that trip, my phone exploded. Lexi stayed with me most of the trip and took my pictures for me on her phone. That was a fun time. She's a wonderful violinist and kind heart. She came into class daily with a smile, ready to play. I can't ask for more. Great work, kiddo. Olivia Castilla is a superstar cellist. I had her in orchestra her sophomore year, then she had class scheduled issues and we lost her her junior year. 
When I saw her name on my enrollment list for this year, I was notably excited. She is such a great leader, strong musician, and friend of her section and orchestra. Her talent runs through everything she does, from orchestra to cheerleading to academics. She is, is a success and will continue to be at work. Ainsley Clifton plans on going to the University of Central Oklahoma, majoring in technical writing. Uh, in 10 years, hopefully she's got a fellowship at the Library of Congress. Her favorite orchestra memory will be making second chair in her orchestra. Alas, I was only able to have Ainsley for this one year, her senior year. She transferred in from another school. Having her this year has been amazing and made me only wish more and more that I could have had her uh, from her freshman year. She is a very fine violinist and musician. She is also so kind to everyone. She, in her one year with us, quickly became such a great part of our orchestra family. I'm going to remember this year with her very fondly, but I will also remember all the years I got to work with her when she was younger, coming to the UCO summer music camps. I knew even then that she was going to be awesome and I wasn't wrong. Great work, Ainsley. Paul Crawford plans on going to Oklahoma Christian University on a full ride scholarship, majoring in biology with emphasis on pre-med. In 10 years, he'll hopefully be in medical school doing his uh, rotations to become a doctor. His favorite orchestra memory is a tie between three, going to London, uh, being in Porticon's office and just talking, and uh, the Suzuki Club, all great memories. What a rock star bass player Paul is. He not only memorizes every piece we learn in orchestra and plays it great, but I'm going to remember greatly how musical of a performer he is. After nearly every concert, I have concert goers come to me and tell me, wow, that orchestra was great. And that bass player you have, he is awesome. He really made me feel the music. Paul has also been an incredible leader. He has led his bass section with energy and encouragement. His personality is one that has made his orchestra extra special. I will miss you, Paul. Thank you for all the encouragement you have provided me over the years. You are certainly one of a kind. James Emerson plans on going to OU, majoring in aerospace engineering. In 10 years, he would like to be rich and successful. His favorite orchestra memory is going to Disneyland. Uh, and on the last day, they were trying to ride as many rides uh, as his group could until it was time to leave and then uh, rocking the tank tops that they bought on uh, Venice Beach. James is a solid violinist that our orchestra has been thankful to have. He brings such character to the room. James doesn't take himself too seriously and I believe it helps to keep the orchestra from getting to a place where it's all too much about work and not enough fun. James is a great friend to his ENO family and is a student that brings the spirit to our orchestra that the group is always trying to nurture. And I'm crazy proud of you, James. Good work. Nick Fang plan plans on going to the University of Louisville, majoring in biology. Uh, in 10 years, he hopes to be a dentist. His favorite orchestra memory is being a part of the all-state orchestras. Nick might be the one student in our orchestra that I have known longer than any other. I started working with Nick in summer music camps when he was really young. Some would ask me, has Nick changed over those many years? The answer is yes and no. Nick has certainly grown in height as well as in talent. Where he hasn't changed is in his youthful energy and fun. Nick doesn't take himself too seriously. He's going to do a good job at everything he undertakes, but he's going to have the best time he can while doing it. He has many friends in this program and they all have grown him as much as he has impacted them. He's been a fantastic three-year All-State violinist and concert master of our ENO. I look forward to knowing Nick for many, many more years, and you make me proud, kiddo. Kate Godinez. Uh, she's not sure which college she's gonna go to yet, but most likely she's gonna go out of state, majoring in interior design. In 10 years, she sees herself living in LA or Texas, 
working at an interior design company and in a home designed by herself. Her favorite orchestra memory is gonna be every time I raised my hands to start conducting a piece and then put them down to tell the story. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kate is a talented violinist with lots of potential. When she makes a decision about what she wants to do or where she wants to go, then watch out. She'll make an impact. She has been a good leader to, in our orchestra, uh, who on many occasions has tried to do everything she can to make the others around her stronger. This is such a quality trait and you're gonna make an impact. Kiddo, I can't wait to see what all you do. I'm proud of you. Nico Guerrera plans on going to University of Central Oklahoma, majoring in mechanical engineering. In 10 years, he'd like to be working for Elon Musk in SpaceX on Mars. <laughs> His favorite orchestra memories uh, will be all of those random moments of playing the bass with all of the bass players in his orchestra each day. Nico is part of such a super fun bass section. He is a major reason it is so much fun. Nico has such an incredible attitude and is a joy to have in the orchestra. He's, uh, he always has a fun story or joke to tell me. I always look forward to seeing him in class. He has been super consistent, and as a musician, I know I can always count on him. He is kind and helpful at every turn. He always brings ideas to class of things the orchestra should try or music we should perform. I love his enthusiasm for it. He brings me energy. I look forward to everything he's gonna do in the future. Go into space, woo, that's cool. Conrad Harris plans on going to Oklahoma University, majoring in biology. In 10 years, he sees himself in Sweden or Norway, studying sea life. His favorite orchestra memory will be goofing around with his fellow bass players in the back and being a general nuisance. Conrad, like Nico, is like the other half of what makes the bass section in class so awesome. Conrad is very talented at the bass and has done a great job over the years at making his section stronger. He is fun and encouraging. His only fault might be that he sometimes doesn't recognize how much potential he has and the impact that he can make on others, not just in music. I hope he will continue to work hard and believe in himself. There are great things in Conrad's future. Losing him and Nico in the same year is going to make our class very different, and I'm going to miss you both. Tim Hendra-Saputra is planning on going to the University of Central Oklahoma, majoring in accounting. Uh, in 10 years, he's not sure where, where he'll be, but he knows he will be satisfied with what he's done those last 10 years. His favorite orchestra memory will be when Mr. Porticon had trouble putting on the glove he gave, he gave me uh, for the Avengers theme. It flopped around while I was trying to snap. He doesn't think anybody noticed, except for him, of course. I do remember that, that was hilarious. That glove was insane. Uh, Tim is a quiet strength. He's a very fine viola player who works hard to get things right at home and at school. He has been making his section stronger and stronger each year. I don't hear from Tim too much in class in regards to his voice. He's a quiet kid, but his music and focus speaks volumes. Tim is kind and caring of an individual who I have no doubt will go far. Thank you for your commitment to our program, Tim. I'm incredibly proud of you. Clara Hibbs plans on going to the University of Central Oklahoma, majoring in forensic science and biology. Uh, in 10 years, she'll be working in a forensics lab and owning many dogs. Uh, her favorite orchestra memory would be while on the London trip, uh, it took Kaylee Page and her five minutes to figure out how the light switch in their hotel room worked. I feel like it's so easy to talk about Clara. She's a rock star violinist, and in three years that I've known her, there might not be another student that has improved as much as she has. To say that Clara is a hard worker is an understatement. To say that Clara is a fine leader is also an understatement. To say that Clara is a kind and caring individual is another understatement. I can keep going. Clara exemplifies what it means to be a leader. She leads by example and is crazy humble through it all. 
She might even claim to not be a leader in class. I would say otherwise. Clara is already such a success. The world needs to catch up to her. Great work. Going to miss you. Matthew Hudson plans on going to the University of Oklahoma, majoring in mathematics. In 10 years, he sees himself working at Applebee's. Yeah. <laughs> His favorite orchestra memory will be stealing, mi stealing mixer cookies with his friends at Allstate all, and all of the viola get-togethers and events. This superstar three-year Allstate violist has been a phenomenal leader for his section this year. Matthew stepped into the role at the beginning of the year and hasn't looked back. Matthew leads with such a gentle touch and humble attitude. There isn't a person in the whole orchestra that doesn't love Matthew. That is because he's not only greatly respected for his talent and devotion to his instrument section, orchestra, and school, but because he never has a bad thing to say about anyone. I believe he sees potential in everyone around him as well. I will always wish he opened up even more and shared his thoughts with us, because every time he does, he's got something great to share. But this quiet leadership, I think, is why he's so impactful with the words and guidance he does give. He's going to do great things, and I have no doubt about it. Great work, Matthew. Meg Jackson plans on going to Oklahoma State University, majoring in political science with a BA in music. Uh, in 10 years, she sees herself practicing constitutional law somewhere, whether it be for a political campaign or nonprofit. She hopes to continue playing the cello for fun and possibly for lessons. Her favorite orchestra memory was her sophomore year quartet, consisting of her, Maddie Medina, Will Shiro, and Isabella Mullaney. They played a super easy Mozart piece that probably could have been better, and instead of practicing during class one day, they took BuzzFeed quizzes. Just as they were discovering their true spirit animals, they could hear Mr. Porticon through the walls yelling at Eli's quartet for being off task. So they scrambled and picked up their instruments. By the time Mr. Porticon came to us, we were in deep and thoughtful discussion about dynamics. Mr. Porticon profusely thanked us for being responsible and model orchestra students. Sorry, Mr. Porticon, we were not. It was what she put in her message. Meg, Meg and seven eighths, Meg and seven eighths. Meg is short. She won't deny it. She plays a slightly smaller than full size cello, the seven eighths, but her impact on her section, this program, her friends, this school, and me are anything but small. Meg has the biggest heart matched only by her big personality. She cultivates and nurtures the culture in our school that we hope to see spread across our country. Now, I haven't even mentioned how awesome she is as a cellist. She is an all-stater who has made major improvements year after year. Knowing that she is going to continue to play and study music in college makes me so happy. But even more, it's knowing how many more people she is going to positively impact. She's a consummate leader and friend. Meg has no limits. She has made a huge impression on me for sure. I've even named a cello after her that will forever be a part of the program. It's called the Meg. Meg is just that, mega, mega awesome, mega talent, mega leader, and I wish you a mega future, kiddo. Gabe Kaur plans on going to the University of Central Oklahoma, majoring in biology. In 10 years, he sees himself working in some office somewhere. Uh, his favorite orchestra memory is going to be sitting on a boat in St. Louis, messing with crazy people that were in the next boat uh, with his friends. Gabe is a very fine violist and one that has a great deal of talent. I'm going to miss seeing him in my room at all hours of the day. Gabe is a student that I believe finds a lot of who he is in the orchestra. He's a leader, a great peer and friend, and a wonderful collaborator. He has all the traits of a successful human being. I expect great things, and I'm crazy proud of you, Gabe. Elliot Kim plans on going to the University of Oklahoma, majoring in engineering. In 10 years, he sees himself someplace doing something productive. 
His favorite orchestra memory will be the first day of school, seeing the orchestra family being happy back together as one. Elliot is very quiet. I don't always have, I don't have a ton of stories about him, but I can tell you he's a talented violinist that has always impressed me. He's grown a great deal over the three years that I've been here, and he takes his commitments seriously and drives to be the best he can. Well, you're doing it, Elliot. You're doing awesome. You're going to be great. I'm crazy proud of you. Lily Lee plans on going to the University of Oklahoma, majoring in bioengineering with, pre, with a pre-med path. In 10 years, she sees herself hopefully doing, uh, being in a residency program relating to dermatology while pursuing her hobby, uh, doing YouTube fashion, makeup, and lifestyle. Her favorite orchestra memory would be post-concert Brahms date with her friends. Uh, her friends group always has uh, some kind of a dance off. Uh, she's gonna remember those things. I had the privilege of working with Lily when she was very young at a summer strings camp. I knew that week that I got to work with her that she was going to be a crazy great talent. I was not wrong. Lily has been the section leader of our cellist all three years that I have been here at North. She is a three-year All-Stater as well. Leading the orchestra comes very naturally to her. She is beyond great at everything she's committed to. She is a student that has made a major impact not only on me, her section, and our ENO, but our school culture as well with her strong commitment to the North Student Council. She's already a success, and I can't wait to see what's next for her. Good work, Lily. Isaac Flores Lopez. Isaac loves orchestra and the community that it creates. I have loved having Isaac in our orchestra as a fine violinist. He's always done great work and has improved year after year. Isaac has a warm heart and fun personality. He gets along with everyone and has that humble attitude that speaks volumes to the size of his heart. He's done good work. Alyssa Meredith plans on going to the University of Central Oklahoma, majoring in art. In 10 years, she sees herself chilling in her art studio, painting her next artwork for Disney. Her favorite orchestra memory, she says there are too many to count, but her first time meeting Porticon before school even started was one of her favorites. And that means a great deal to me, Alyssa. Thank you. Alyssa is a very fine violist. I met her just before joining Edmund North at a summer strings camp. She made an impression, uh, she left an impression on me even then. She's, a, she's very, very quiet, but incredibly sweet. I could see in her eyes that first year that she was determined to play things right and that she was going to figure everything out. She has done it year after year and gotten stronger and stronger. I have seen her really come into her own. She has such a positive attitude and brings it everywhere she goes. I am so glad to have had the opportunity to teach her over these three years. You're awesome. Blake Middick plans on going to the University of Central Oklahoma, majoring in psychology. In 10 years, she sees herself working mainly with kids to overcome major trauma. Wow. Her favorite orchestra memory was on a bus ride back from Dallas on the LA trip Borges was so tired that he put his hoodie on backwards to sleep. Right before he fell asleep, he turned around to us with his hood up over his face and he said some crazy thing, but he doesn't know what it means. Then we didn't hear a peep from him the rest of the trip. Crazy. Blake is a very, very talented cellist and a student that makes me laugh. She is hilarious, but when she plays the cello, she's uh, she shows focus and determination, as well as great energy and musicality. I love watching her perform. She's a great friend to her peers and a powerful personality. I know that she's going to be a success, no doubt. Great work, Blake. I'm proud of you. Jet Mazel plans on going to the University of Central Oklahoma, majoring in zoology. In 10 years, he sees himself actively involved in zoology issues wherever it may take him. His favorite orchestra memory is when our orchestra went to LA uh, while they were at Venice Beach watching David and James spend $77 for two tank tops and then $37 more for a hat pen. 
good grief. Jet is a fine cellist, humble to a fault, helpful as can be, caring and empathetic. Hard worker is an understatement. Jet is one of the single most amazing students I've had the pleasure to know. He, at every turn, asks me how he can help or volunteers himself for everything. He's the first to sign up for every event we're involved in. Jed is among very few in, a cl in this class that has the gift of real community. To speak to his cello playing, I'm going to remember fondly his level of hard work. He really pushes himself to be the best he could for himself and his orchestra. This is how I know he's gonna be a success in everything that he does. Good work, Jed. Alex Moreau, I don't know if there's a student that has made me laugh more than this awesome violinist. I have many stories about Alex, all that I'll remember fondly. He's a great leader and a hard worker, a great friend and all and all round student. I think what I'm going to remember the most though were the times he was in my office asking for my advice on how to approach a girl he was fond of. <laughs> Like, I know anything about that kind of stuff, especially like nowadays. But he was hilarious, even wanting me to like write his love notes to this girl because he liked my handwriting. You'll have to ask him if things worked out with this girl. Knowing Alex, I'm sure that it did. I know he's gonna do some amazing things and I can't wait to see it happen, but I'm certainly gonna miss you for sure. Kaylee Page plans on going to UCO. Uh, majoring in uh, psychology or special education. In 10 years, she hopes to have a good job and be doing something with psychology. Her favorite orchestra memory were just all the games and Discord chats that her, Clara, Rachel, Eli, Gabe, James, and Elliot played together, played and laughed together while in quarantine since they couldn't see one another in school. Wow. I truly have such amazing students. Kaylee is certainly one of them. She's a great viola player, but more so, she's a very good person. She is one of my students that is always asking me how she can help. What can she do? She volunteers for everything. She's always signing up to be wherever we are and committed to making our program better. She spent many hours helping me organize my life. Kaylee is a student I know I can always count on. Her heart is one of a kind. How much I'm going to miss her is very hard to quantify, but it's a lot. Kaylee, you're awesome. Don't change. Anna Perry. Anna Perry is going to Brigham Young University majoring in accounting. Uh, in 10 years, she sees herself as a certified public accountant with a master's degree. Her favorite orchestra memory is going to be all the IHOP get togethers after the concerts. Anna is an amazing violinist but that is certainly just the tip of the iceberg. Anna may be the single most committed student to our ENO. She's our current president of our orchestra council and has been part of the council for years. It is easy to see how seriously she believes in how important music is and how the program can positively impact so many lives. She has done so much work to better our orchestra, most notably, in the design work she's done for our t-shirts as well as the creation of the ENO quarterly magazine called the quarter note outside of her great work over the years she is a kind and thoughtful student and friend always willing to lend a hand wherever she can keep it up Anna you are an amazing child Connor Patterson is another one of my strong violinists and leaders he has a perfect balance of seriousness and focus versus comic relief. I can always count on Connor to find something funny to say following something serious that I just said in class. Bottom line, he has been an integral part of our orchestra's family. He is a trustworthy, committed, consistent stand-up student that cares about our development and future. Is he going to be a success? There's no doubt in my mind. Believe in yourself, Connor, you're super... Emily Smith plans on going to Oklahoma State University, majoring in architecture. In 10 years, she hopes to have a job in architecture and be able to help design homes and buildings. And she wants to travel the world. Her faith is very important to her, so she's planning on going on missions to share the gospel. She hopes to incorporate her job into missions and building houses. 
Her favorite orchestra memory is gonna be her freshman year when they went to, uh, on the St. Louis trip and all the fun times with her friends touring the city. It was one of the greatest uh, high school orchestra memories. I'm not sure I've ever come across a nicer, sweeter, humble, and caring student. Emily is a fantastic cellist and hard worker. She is successful at everything she does, but what's amazing about her is so much of what she excels at is to the benefit of others. She gives so much of herself to everyone, it's easy to see how much of her faith comes through in her actions. Her gifts inspire me and much of this school building. To say she has been a blessing to teach and to know is an understatement. Emily, you're an incredible kid. Keep doing what you're doing, you're making an impact. Rachel Smith plans on going to the University of Oklahoma, majoring in astrophysics and mathematics as a dual major. Uh, in 10 years, she will have obtained a PhD in physics and doing, hopefully doing something important in research uh, in the physics field. Her favorite orchestra memory is gonna be Klein Ong, with his head in his hands, terrified of the It's a Small World ride at Disneyland. Klein and Eli, both screaming on Space Mountain, will also be a great memory. And uh, her and her entire Disneyland group all screaming on the Indiana Jones ride. Rachel is a very talented violist and is among my most helpful and kind students ever. She is one that is always in the room asking about how things are going and how she can help. She is a student I can always count on when I'm in need. When I'm in need. Rachel is loved by everyone because she has an amazing, kind, and warm personality. She is also such a gift giver. I can't tell you how many times she has bought me a much needed drink or ended up ahead of me in the drive through line at lunch only to buy my meal. She's that kind of student. She does super sweet things for others with no regard to herself and whether that kindness will be paid back to her. She just wants to be there. She just wants to help. This is the mark of a very fine leader and problem solver. Success has been found in her for sure. You make me so proud, Rachel. Carolyn Sutliff plans on going to college at Bowdoin College in Maine, uh, majoring in neuroscience and uh, studio art if she feels like it. In 10 years, she will hopefully not be dying or drowning in too much debt while pursuing certification in pediatric neurology in medical school. And then being married, she says, would be really nice too. But her first wish, wish is kind of stretching it a little. Uh, her favorite memory uh, was being assigned to be Eva's mentor. And then she says, Eva, if you're listening, she loves you so much. Carolyn is not just a fantastically talented cellist. She is fantastically talented at everything that she does. She is more than musically gifted. She is crazy academically gifted. She has achieved all kinds of awards and accolades. She will be sought out by everyone that knows her for the rest of her life. She is all these things while being the single most humble child I may have ever known. She's been raised right. Carolyn is a student that is loved by all that know her. She has a huge heart of gold and I'm going to miss her smile in class and her warm personality. I really am gonna miss you, kiddo. Avery Thompson. Avery plans on going to the University of Oklahoma, majoring in chemical engineering with a focus in pre-med biomedical. In 10 years, she'll hopefully be working as a nuclear pharmacist for the government or a private practice. Her favorite orchestra memory will be <laughs> getting ready to play and then quickly stopping because Porticon always has a story he needed to tell us before we could move on. Yes, I do that too often. Avery is a fantastic violinist that I have seen grow and grow over the few years that I've been here. So much talent in this program. Avery is another student with a genuine heart, kindness like no other, and a desire to see everyone succeed. She has been the consummate team player in our orchestra. I can always see 
on a daily basis how hard she is working and focused on being her best self because she understands completely how her abilities affect everyone. We are all lucky to be in the same space with her because we know she is going to try her best for us. If everyone in this world could be a little more like Avery, we really would be in a very amazing place. You make me proud. Taylor Underwood plans on going to the University of Oklahoma, majoring in architecture and environmental science. In 10 years, she wants to run her own architecture firm that helps create sustainable housing for disadvantaged people. She wants to continue playing music and writing and hopefully have published at least one book. Unbelievable. Her favorite orchestra memory will be after the winter concert this year, uh, she went to IHOP to get food. Rachel had the ACT the next morning and was only going to stay for a chocolate milkshake. They brought her a glass of chocolate milk instead and she drank it, then left. She said she'd pay me back for the milk. A minute later, they brought out her shake and we sent it back, but I texted her that they had brought her shake because I thought she would think it was funny. A few seconds later, uh, he was back at the table asking where her shake was. Oh, she was back at the table asking where her shake was, but it was gone. Good grief, that was a fun story. Uh, Taylor is an incredible viola player and all round wonderful person. I am so blessed to teach the best students. Taylor is no exception. Speaking to her music, she is so focused, serious, and crazy musical and energetic. She is the fuel to the fire of the orchestra. To her personality, she is caring and always helpful. She's another student that I know I can always count on when I need a hand. And if I could speak to this period of our history, since we've been in quarantine, I don't think I've gone more than a day or two without getting a message from her. She sends me hilarious Snapchats and has kept a smile on my face every day of this rough lockdown. She is going to bring her light and energy and joy everywhere that she goes. I know it and I'm proud of you, Taylor. Kimberly Wagner. Kimberly might be my sweetest and quietest graduating senior. I think she may have shared about 15 or 20 words with me in our three years together. But what she may not know is that her performance in our orchestra and her commitment to us has spoken volumes. She comes to class every day, ready to do her best. Kimberly is a student that enjoys being in the space, making music with her peers. This is the first and most primary goal of our program. We want to be a safe space and home for all our students. I'm so glad to know and to teach Kimberly. I wish you all the best in all the things that you do. You're going to be missed. Sydney Wong. Sydney Wong plans on going to the University of Oklahoma, majoring in biochemistry. Uh, in 10 years, she sees herself hopefully doing well in a medical career. Her favorite orchestra memory, she says she really loved the LA trip to Disneyland last year. She had so much fun with her orchestra friends and she was crazy obsessed with all the wonderful foods they had in the theme parks, from the beignets to the bread bowls. She was obsessed over them all. Okay, so last but not least is the amazing Allstate Viola, Sydney Wong. Sydney is seriously the kindest and most wonderful student. How she is able to balance being an amazing violist, outstandingly academically driven student, and the kind, caring, charitable friend and peer she is, I'll never know. Not a day goes by that she doesn't say hello to me or share a simple wave in the halls. I know she must do this with everyone, but I can't tell you what this small acknowledgement means to me and I'm sure to everyone. Sydney sees you. She recognizes you. She values you. She is a picture of perfection. I'm going to share a one other thing though. Sydney will never truly know her impact on me personally, especially during my first year here at North. This was a very difficult job to take over. I had some good days and some really challenging ones. Some of those challenging days caused me to think hard about the decision I had made to come to North. But then almost with a divine hand, Sydney would walk in and smile or wave 
or share a sweet word and shut all my doubt down about taking this job. I took this job knowing I would get to work with incredible students like her, and that's happened day in and day out. I wish you all the best, Sydney. You are the best. Wow, that wraps up all the seniors, all 38. Man, am I gonna miss every single one of them too. Now, take a moment and enjoy this uh, fun slideshow that we got put together for you by uh, Ryan White actually, and uh, I'll take a moment and stop talking for a second. <laughs> 